It's not a travel ban. Donald Trump, go away. This is not a travel ban. This is a temporary pause. Stand up, fight back! Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. It's a temporary ban, in particular, for certain people coming. I'm establishing new vetting measures to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of the United States of America. Set them free! This is what America looks like! Don't be what America looks like! This is what America looks like! Let them in! Not allow the government to remove anybody who's come and is caught up in the order nationwide. No hate, no fear. Refugees are welcome. I'm filing a lawsuit today in federal court against President Trump, the Federal Department of Homeland Security, and high-ranking Trump administration officials. We actually had a very good day yesterday in terms of homeland security. And someday we had to make the move, and we decided to make the move. The acting head of the U.S. Department of Justice took a stand against Donald Trump's executive order on immigration. Trump fired her late Monday night. Furthermore, this is not, I repeat, not a ban on Muslims. A million people have now come into this country. That's not a ban. That it faces immediate and irreparable injury as a result of the signing and implementation of the executive order. The president is asking this court to abdicate that role here, to reinstate the executive order without meaningful judicial review, and to throw this country back into chaos. It's a political decision, and we're going to see them in court, and I look forward to doing it. The Department of Justice believes that this executive order, just as the first executive order, is a lawful and proper exercise of presidential authority. Hawaii becoming the first state to challenge President Trump's new travel ban. This is, in the opinion of many, an unprecedented judicial overreach. A federal judge in Maryland issuing a nationwide temporary injunction. But he, he's never repudiated what he said about the Muslim ban. They're still on his website. And we can go back and forth on the president's comments over time. They're saying this whole class of people, some of which are dangerous, we can bar them all. The administration on Thursday asking the justices to revive an executive order to temporarily bar travelers from six Middle Eastern and North African nations.